Hey, so long to the nation of Yada and Yezreel Yada at this time. And the peace of y'all be with each and every one of you brothers and sisters at this time. May he um, have mercy upon you. I have to do a very important video at this time, brothers and sisters, showing you uh, the words of Yah and how we must give a perfect male lamb as an offering to uh, Yah to make atonement for all sins. Yes, when we are returned back home, brothers and sisters, yes, the, um, the slaughter place is going to be revealed, what we call the altar. And also, the third temple must be um, built again, brothers and sisters. And who's going to carry out all these functions will be the Zadok priests, the sons of Zadok, of the priests of uh, Levi. So, brothers and sisters, this is a very important video at this time for each and every one because uh, I hear um, our, our brothers and sisters that have like a knowledge, um, they quote what the Christian cro uh, quote, quote by saying, by the blood of a Messiah or Christ. That they got from the uh, Greek mythology, yes, from uh, Catholicism, that the Christian preach. Because remember, the Christians are the daughters of of the Catholic Church. Yes, they're the Protestants that fell away, according to their writings, from some of the teaching, from the teachings, but not all of them. So you keep in mind, and this flow went down. From generation to generation to it infiltrated the Hebrew people, the one they call modern term today, Hebrews, the Hebrew people, nation, tribes. Yes, you see that how they are uh, infiltrated on um, Africa with Islam and also Christianity. And this way, this um, falsehood coming at that they talk about um, a blood of a man. That is offered to take away your sins, but when you know our true history, brother and sister, and when you when, when you look at the prophecies and follow the every words of Yah, you'll see what occurred to the Hebrew people. I'm gonna read some of it to you today, and we're dealing with the atonement offering. What what is our uh, perfect before Yah, and what is our uh, unperfect? I'm gonna go over to, with you a little bit and show you why we got put out of the land because our ancestors uh, presented to our Yah. An imperfect offering, which is, and during that you break his law, which in turn you break the covenant, the agreement of y'all established with us through Moshe. Yes, to give to all the children of Israel, at one time our nation knew these things very clearly. Yes, and he taught them to distinguish between what is clean and what is unclean, why it's dealing with animals. And he said, all the ones that got the effects, blind, blemish, crippled, which is lame, disease, any kind of uh, uh, defects in them, do not bring to me. I will not accept them on my slaughter place. And he said, only bring the pure ones of one age, a male, a lamb. A goat unto him to be acceptable for your atonement. See, this is all the act of obedience, and that was the details, steps how to keep the law, the statutes of that law uh, for atonement. That I'm, I'm gonna cover, brother and sister. I'm gonna show you what God has put out of the land. In the words of Yah, He told to the prophet Malachi, the one they call Malachi, Malachi. In the King James Version. And very important. Then I'm going to show you in my conclusion when I've just said when we return back home, when the two nations become one, you can find that in Ezekiel chapter 37. You see, and then at that point of time, he also going to give us um, the Messiah many people is talking about, but never came, but he will not be atonement. He said at the same time we're going to build the, um, the slaughter place in chapter 43 that I'm going to read. And it's going to take a seven day period of time to make atonement by offering animals that we bring the animals to the priests of the sons of Zadok, of Levi, of the tribe of Levi. And then after that, I'll be said, then will he accept us? 
So these things we're gonna get into right now. I, um, if you please, if you got the script, turn to to me to Malachi chapter one. I'm gonna read chapter one, verse five to ten. And right there is give you some description and show you. And I've got brought this to um, Malachi, the messenger of Yah, to give to the children of Israel, Yah, to tell them they false and why they are going into punishment. See, many prophets came unto them to tell them to turn back to Yah, to turn back to Yah, stop presenting to Yah the, the foul offerings, which in doing so, you profane the name of Yah. When it said profane, all you got to do is look at the word profane. It's English word, but another word for faint is purse. You defame his name, you dishonor him, you bring uh, 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 disrespect to him. So he is the one we purse when the priests accepted the uh, unclean things and also taught the people to, uh, to, uh, to bring them as well, which caused everyone to be defiled, the temple, the slaughter place, and all. And that's why y'all had to get us out, out of the land because of disobedience. To punish us, to correct us. Then he said two thirds would die. One third by war, one third by famine, and one third would go through the fire, which we are going through now. Hell. These are the words of y'all that I'm giving to you, brothers and sisters. If you accept it or not, reject it, that's going to fall on your head. I just got to give it, like all y'all said it, the truth. Yes, without the sugar coating on it, hiding these things. Many people hate the Creator Yah. Many Hebrew people out of ignorance hate the Creator Yah. That's a fact. Because what's the more important than they torture and murder? What's more important is to to um, to get this money, and that's the only thing that supersedes on the minds of the people. Yes, the money is more important than the people going back home. The people will stay here just to get money. And not obey Yah to prepare yourself to unite with me, and so our Yah will guide us home. That's part of the redemption plan, brothers and sisters. So I, a lot of people wrestle with the falsehoods. So let me get into this right now. I'm going to show you the history and why this punishment came upon us. And when I show you the thing, you will see how the enemy lied to you. So right now, we're going to go over this right here. In chapter 1, verse 5 of Malachi, they call Malachi in the King James Version. Start with um, verse 5, it says, In your eyes shall see. I'm reading this from a kind they call a scripture, so it might read a little different from yours. It said, uh, In your eyes shall see, and, your, and you shall say, Great is Yah beyond the borders of Yezreel. Yah. It said, A son esteem his father, and a servant his master. And if I am your father, who is Abba, if he is our Abba, where is my esteem? And these are the words of Yah that we were telling to the children of Israel, Yah, because he wasn't getting the esteem, the respect. He said, if, you are, he said, if I am your master, where is my fear? Say Yah, opposed to your priest, who despise my name. See right there, he said, the priest resented the thing because they was in charge. The ark offerings to Yah, defiled offerings. It said, and Yah said of hosts to you priests, why, I mean, who despise me? See, the ones who hate Yah, but you ask, in what way have we despised your name? And now I'm just telling them this. He said, you are presenting defiled food on my slaughter place. You see what it's about? I read to you the law before. I might cover this, uh, add that to uh, the scripture. This is my tape where they're going to read that law. You can read that law and uh, let me get my notes. I don't know if it's behind you. I, I need to learn it. In Leviticus chapter 22, verse 17 to 33, cover the law of the atonement about bringing clean and unclean. I'm not going to read it. That could be your homework. To read that, it covers the whole in detail concerning the law of atonement dealing with animals. He tell them to bring only the perfect ones. But he told them that to bring the defiled ones, he's not going to accept it. He said, you're only going to accept the perfect ones. So that's very important, brother and sister, that you understand that. Y'all never did away with his law. 
he just stopped it because he had to punish us. Because we are the ones in charge to carry out this function. And from the tribe of Levi, they are, they, they are the, ones to, the ones who accept the offering and resent. But once I got the temple destroyed, the altar destroyed, and put us out of land, we could not keep these things. Because we only could do this act on the Day of Atonement in the land, in our homeland, and in this capital city called Yashalom. So the enemy came in after. That's why they tell you a man sent offering. Abiyah didn't want this offering no more. Well, Abiyah told you in the law he, he never wanted the defiled offering. And when our people did it, Abiyah had to punish us. And that's the truth of our past history. So let me keep reading to show you this right here with the words of Yah. The verse 7 reads, And you are presenting defiled food on my slaughter place. But you ask, in what way have we defiled you? Because you say the table of Yah is despicable. And when you present the blind as a slaughtering, see that? It's in all your Bibles. See, they present the blind as, as a slaughtering. Is it not evil? And when you present the lame and sick, you see they got the blind, the lame, the sick. Is it not evil? Yes, of course. Is it bring it then to your governor? Would he be pleased with you? Would he accept you favorably? Accept you favorably? Said Yah of hosts. And now entreat the face of El to show favor to us. This has been done by your hands. Will he show favor to you? Said Yah of hosts. Of course not. He said, who among you will shut the doors so that you will not kill no fire on my slaughter place for naught? He said, I have no pleasure. He said, I have no pleasure in you, said Yah of hosts. Or do I accept your offerings from your hands? See, these are the words of Yah, brothers and sisters. Let me read a little bit more right here to show, before I show you the future prophecy that will be fulfilled by us. The remnant that go back home, that make it back home. Because the rebellion are going to be removed before we ever go back into that land. Because this is only going to be done by the righteous, the, or the ones that pray in the heart, that truly love Yah, that can bring back the atonement, the animal offering to make atonement. For seven days, the slaughter is going to be re atoned. Atoned for. Why got to be atoned for? Because right here, I'm showing you right here, the prophecy came to. Malachi, Yah, to show the children of Israel, Yah, and the priests what they have done. That for, was forbidden in the law of Leviticus chapter 22. It's right there for all to see. This is why. Abiyah Yah stopped it for a period of time, but not forever. He stopped it because he had to punish us, to correct us, to show us our errors, our faults. That's why he had me here now to tell you this and explain it. Explain this to you with those who, who uh, else who have this knowledge as well to explain these things. So right here, brother and sister, from in verse 12, but you are profaning me, and that you say the table of Yah is defiled, and its fruit is food is despicable. And you said, oh, what weariness. You sneered at it, and said Yah of hosts. And you brought in plunder. See, they st brought in stolen animals. And the lame, see, and the slain, and the sick, he's repeating it again. And thus you have brought the offering. Shall I accept this from your hand? Say, Yah. Then he went on to say, verse 14. But cursed be the deceiver who has a male in his flock. See, a male. So keep this male in mind as I'm telling you, showing you this right here. See, this is how they insinuate. This is how the deception came, the enemy came as well. They took this man and say, oh, it's a male. He's a lamb. They call this man a lamb. They call him Jesus. Now the Hebrews say Yahushua, Yahweh Shai, and Yahushua, whatever name they will come up, Hebrew name they will add into the mix to make it seem like it's real. That's exactly what the enemy done. They took this because Abiyah and Law said bring a purple. So they, then they present to you, this man is perfect. He never sinned. All of these things they tell the story, they tell you. To, make, to try to get you to believe this. Because when you don't have this knowledge right here, you will believe, you will believe a lie. And then they'll tell you in Hebrews chapter um, 10 and the Father Five New Testament book, 
See, they'll make you think that it came from a Hebrew or mouth again, a real Hebrew. That uh, y'all had nothing to do. He know it, it was a waste of time to keep presenting the animals year by year that was is never able to take away sin. These are exact words. Go there and read it. It had nothing to do with that. It had something to do with obedience to Yah. They brought the foul ones. I'll be all telling them bring the perfect one. Read that in, in Leviticus chapter 22, the law. Cover the whole law dealing with the atonement and the animal offering. What got to put out? Not to bring because they brought in prayer ones, because they brought in the foul ones. They stopped bringing the prayer. At one time they were bringing the prayer ones, but they started getting lazy. They start, uh, they start uh, uh, losing their uh, love for y'all. That's what he's saying right there. They got weary. They got tired. To obey because they were looking on, they, they were looking somewhere else. That's what took place. Verse 14 right here. He said, but cursed be the deceiver who has a male in his flock, which they, they have a perfect male in their flock, and make a vow to give it, but is slaughtering to y'all what is blemished. See? But they slaughtered the ones that had the defects and sick and lame, but kept the perfect ones for themselves, but gave the priest to defile, and the priest accepted these things. Keep that in mind. Let me finish all this. For I am a great sovereign, said Yah host, and my name is fear among the nations. So that's very important as I go to um back to um Ezekiel chapter forty three to show you the words of Yah that is coming down the pipe for us. Chapter 43, verse 18 and 27, and we'll end off with that for your uh, uh, study that you may have this knowledge and learn this stuff and take it to heart and guard the way of Yah. We got to guard and protect his laws because the enemy, yes, they lied to us for uh, thousands of years, brothers and sisters, since we got put out of the land. So at this time, many are de under the deception. Many deceive at this time, thinking a man is a sin offering and it's perfect. That's the picture they perfect. They took the law and then twisted and put it on a man. And we still being punished for our sins. So right now, let me all get it right here. It says, Ezekiel chapter 43, uh, verse 18 to 27 read, but it's almost over. Right here, chapter 43 of Ezekiel, verse 18. That's why it's coming out so plain now that you can see the true words of Yah and rehearse this for yourself. It's right here. Verse 18 reads, And he said to me, Son of man, thus said Master Yah, these are the laws for the slaughter place on the day when it is made. You see that? This is a message for us. For the offering and sin the offering on it, and for the sprinkling of blood on it. See the sprinkle of blood on it? And you shall give a young bull for a sin offering. See right there, brothers and sisters? If you reach out to 40, it tells you, it starts where it starts, starts telling you about the description of the third temple. And then all y'all plan to tell you, you're going to set his um, seat there. Yes, his throne. And live and dwell in the midst of the children of Israel forever. Yes. These are the facts of Yah that never took place yet. Right here, verse 19 says, You should give a young bull for a sin offering to the priests, the Levites, who are of the seed of Zadok. See, the special priests that were given at that time, they from the seed the, the seed of Zadok. It's who approach unto me, declares Master Yah. And you shall take some of its blood and put it on the four corners of the slaughter place and on the four corners of the ledge and on the rim around it and shall cleanse it and make atonement for it. See right there for all the seed. And you shall take the bull of the sin offering and shall burn it in the appointed place of the house, outside of the set apart place, showing you at that time the temple will be built, be built when the altar be built as well. It's outside of the set apart place. This function gonna take place at. And on the second day, bring a male goat, a perfect one. See right there for all to see. If you got this scripture, you can see a perfect. See a perfect one. You're talking about an animal, a male goat. Bring a perfect one. And see, and even in the New Testament tell you, in, in Hebrews 10, that the animal offering, offering wasn't even perfect. Right here tell you again, just like in Leviticus chapter 22 where the law is given, 
that I'll be always one us to bring the perfect one. That's why he said, only the righteous go back and going to be in that land and going to present to y'all a perfect sin offering. It's very right here. 22. It said, and, and bring a male goat. See, it's a male goat, a perfect one for a sin offering. And they shall cleanse the slaughter place as they cleanse it with the bull. See? So we have the bull's uh, uh, offering. We got a, 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 a goat, a male goat, as a perfect one for sin offering. And they shall cleanse the slaughter place as they cleanse it with the bull. Verse 23. And when you have ended cleansing it, bring a young bull, a perfect one. You see that? It says, bring a young bull, a perfect one, and a ram from the flock, a perfect one. You see all of these? Without the very defects. So this is our, our commission, our order from Yah to do these things when we get back home. 26, I mean 24. And you shall bring from, before, excuse me, you shall bring them before Yah, and the priest shall throw salt on them, and offer them up as a as sin offering to Yah. 25. As they prepare a goat for a sin offering daily for seven days. You see that? For seven days we prepare a goat for a sin offering. And prepare a young bull and a ram from the flock. A perfect one. See? So we got a young goat for seven days for a sin offering. And as they prepare a young bull and a ram from the flock. A perfect one. See, all is perfect. So that for seven days shall make atonement for the slaughter place and cleanse it and ordain it. See, adorn, uh, or, ordain it, getting it ready for its function and being established once again, right here, and it be cleansed on the seventh after the seventh day. Right here, see, and when these days are completed, it shall be on the eighth day and thereafter that the priest make a sinly offering. And your peace offering on the slaughter place. See, then on the eighth day, after the uh, on that eighth day and after, we will be the, uh, our peace offering to Yah will be acceptable at the slaughter place. And then I'll y'all say right here. And I shall accept you, declared Master Yah. That's when I'll y'all gonna accept this, brother and sister, at that point. We're not acceptable to Yah at this time. Even though all y'all gonna redeem us by His mercy, that way says it's not because of your righteousness, what all you have done, but because of His mercy, He brings us back home to clean, clean us up. And then you got to know all other. He said His messenger, who is the prophet, Yiliyah, is coming back to clean the priests up before the time they. Present this stuff on the altar to Yah. So yes, you got to know all of these things about our history, brothers and sisters. See, the enemy don't teach you these things because the enemy lied to you. That's why they, they came up with the New Testament, a new law, a new way, and they put all of these books together. Remember, you got to always remember this for the rest of your life. This book what I'm holding was never one like this in the history of the Hebrew people. They were all individual um, uh, books. That's why you got many prophets. They all never came together and made one binary book. No. A lot of them lived in different time periods and different locations. Think about that, brothers and sisters. Some evil men put, the, uh, put it and made it like this. And so they got access for the, for the purpose of to add they mixed it in there with it. And that's what you've done. And that's the history we had before. That's why we can open this book up and you can see lies on in it. That's the proof by itself. Because all of your words I just gave you tell you that the offerings are coming back. And then in the same book, the part they call the New Testament, you'll see they said that law is not even perfect. The only thing that wasn't perfect when they, because it wasn't the law, when the Hebrew people gave the foul animals. That's why I'll be out stopped, but for a period of time. And the real establishment is going to be when I show you right then in the book of Ezekiel. And it never was when they put in a book. A man came 2,000 years ago and died for your sins to be your atonement. And, people, and they got in their mind he was perfect. 
and his blood is perfect. I just heard some comments on that today from from members of the Hebrew Israelite heritage. These people don't even know y'all like that. Because half of their mind and thinking about this book is wrong when they accept it. You got to think that, and that's anybody else. I, I know they think I'm picking on them. I'm talking about them, yes. Because they're one of the biggest groups I see right now, and they, and they call this, and they think they, they, uh, they call this, then die. Then the rest of us. Far from the truth. These people holding on one of the big holders up of, of the Christianity and Catholic movements. Yes, it's like her, uh, one of the biggest people that hold up and exalt it to the rooftop bowl. With all the other groups, uh, G-O-C-C, G-M-S, uh, uh, U-P-K, anyone that could claim uh, a, a Messiah came and it's going to be a gathering of a body to a Messiah, it's all your falsehood. Half your brain is, 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 is shut off from y'all. Because you got half of the book that and you're teaching that falsehood to the Hebrew people. These are the facts, brothers and sisters. I get this to you, not a hatred to no one. But these things got to be, uh, 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 we can't spare no one when we come down to the true words of Yah. Because only the truth is going to set us free, brothers and sisters. Our people getting uh, uh, down by the Catholic Church all day long uh, 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 on the Jews, the Edomites, the Arabs. We're getting the beat down from every to left and right. And our people are holding up lies. Falsehood. You can't even see it, but I'm, I'm showing you plainly right there. The laws of Yah are perfect. Leviticus 22 tell you about the atonement. I've got plenty to tell you about the perfect ones and the defiler. He told us not to do this. The Hebrew people did run to this defiled mess. That's why we got put out of the lands, brothers and sisters. And every day, I've y'all said, he said these things in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 20. If you don't obey me, the enemy's going to kill you. And you see that. The tornadoes coming and, 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 and fall in the cold of Chicago. Hurricanes, tsunamis everywhere. Sinkholes in Florida. Uh, uh, the police are uh, shooting at little boys and, uh, and minivans and, 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 and women. Yeah, white boy cops doing this all over the place. Dragging old men of the Hebrew people. And these people love Jesus. Some of them, I didn't say all of them, they believe this garbage. Abiyah tell us to, you know, to unite. In Ezekiel chapter 37, when he give us the Ruach spirit, a lot of people don't know you had a Ruach spirit. You can't have the Ruach spirit and proclaim it a Jesus, Messiah, or Yahushua, Messiah, came and died for your sins. That's not even the teachings of Yah. I'll be honest if we got to reunite and then go and unite with the, uh, um, of the children of Israel. The two nations got to unite and come together and be in the wilderness for the judgment to meet Yah face to face. Then he said he's going to separate the rebels, those ones that still got that garbage teaching. He's going to separate them from us. You got all this religion. He's going to separate them. He said, then, I'm going to take the, the ones that got the pure heart for Yah, the true heart for Yah, back into the land. And then, we're going to build the slaughter place back into Yah. It's going to be rededicated. The third temple. We got to clean up the land. Yes, he said, foreigners going to come in in Isaiah chapter 60 and help us rebuild the land. He said, the nation is going to give, they aid. And with all of that said and done, he said, everybody on our border is going to be gold and silver going to be confiscated. Every last one of the earth, the ones giving us the beat down now, smashing the head. I saw the video smashing in the head with hammers. All your gold, everybody on our border is getting everything snatched. Gold, silver, and all. And then there's a prophet he's planning to show you that the Egyptians going to set up in the midst of, of their um, God worship place, but that going to change a Mamayan in, in, in honor to Yah. Also, the Iraqi nation going to unite with us 
and the Egyptians are going to unite with us, and we're all going to become one people that serve Yah. These are the words of Yah when we get back home. That's all I got to say in this video. You got to do your homework. I did mine. You got to do yours. With that, I say, may all be all, uh, uh, have mercy on those who seek him with, with an honest heart. Shalom.